Hi, I'm Lisa and I'm the president of Flexolite. I want to show you the new Flexolite expansion overflow tank. There is a difference between expansion and overflow and I want to walk you through the difference. So as an expansion tank, I'm actually expanding the amount of coolant in the system depending on the size tank I choose. That could be 20 ounces or 32 ounces versus an overflow tank is set up to where the system is actually overflowing and then I'm just catching the fluid in the tank. So this is set up as an expansion tank. So I have the coolant coming into the radiator here. I have a non-pressurized cap here. So now I'm allowing coolant to flow to my expansion tank. Once it gets into the expansion tank, that's where the air is going to separate from the coolant. So the coolant is kind of come back down through the bottom of this tank and reach the Y adapter that's connected to the outlet on my radiator. So I do have different size Y adapters depending on the size of the outlet on my radiator and then it continues to flow through the system. And the unique part about being able to raise up this expansion tank is if I want to create a high point to be able to purge the system, I can do that. In this application, I'm using it for my overflow tank. So I've got a pressurized cap here at the radiator. My non-pressurized cap is here on the top of my tank. So if the system does overflow, it's going through my clear hose into the bottom of my overflow tank. The kit is going to include two of these brackets that are made out of a glass reinforced nylon material that can withstand up to 600 degree temperatures, as well as these T-bolts. So now I can use my T-bolt to slide up one of these channels of the expansion tank, which as you can see is how I'm actually mounting the expansion tank, but it can also be used as a way of mounting my fan controller or for hose management. The kit includes clear hose that withstands up to 250 degree temperatures so that you can see the amount of coolant in your system without having to open up the cap and expose air into your radiator. But we've included enough of this hose so if I want to completely remove this tank and submerge that in cold water for racing applications where I'm trying to cool things down as quickly as possible, it gives me the ability to do that.